we'll be talking about climate change. So, in Antarctica, there are snow now, but fossils show that there was once a tropical climate. Had palm trees or animals that couldn't live there today. Most fossils are of animals who don't exist today, like dinosaurs and mammoths. Some of the earliest fossils are of the sm small unicellular organisms like bacteria. One way we could figure out how the atmosphere has changed over time is ice cores. Ice cores are pieces of ice that are found in places like Antarctica and very cold, cold climates. And ice cores have layers of ice in it as it forms. And as it forms, each layer has a little bit of air caught inside of it. And then there's like another layer on top of it and then more air. And so it shows how the atmosphere has changed over time because you can see it because basically it is preserved in the ice. One thing fossils show is mass extinctions. Volcanic eruptions or gas puts dust in the atmosphere. Eruptions can also affect weather everywhere. Also, asteroid collisions can, I mean, put dust into the atmosphere. Tree rings show the age of trees. So if there's 100 rings, it's because the tree is 100 years old. The thickness of the rings show how much the tree grew that year. So if there's a really big gap, it's because the tree grew a lot that year. If there's a really small gap, the tree didn't grow very much that year. Usually, growth years are affected by how much water or nutrients in the soil is available. For fossils, though, usually the fossil is the same age as the rock. So however old the rock is, is how old the fossil is. And you can find the age of the rock by using radiometric dating.